family hello and welcome to a practice with me Kat Meffern I will be your yoga teacher for today and today we are honoring our bleed now I am literally filming this whilst I am in this phase of my cycle so this practice is really just to honor that menstruation phase of the cycle for some people this phase you may feel that today you're really active and really you know full of buzzing energy and this isn't the practice for you and I myself know that you really have to go with how your body feels sometimes at this phase of my cycle I actually feel how a lot of people do around the ovulation phase um, but today <laughs> today I'm feeling really lethargic really heavy in my body and this practice is really going to be just to honor that slowness so if you're there with me in that phase and in that feeling, then let's do this together. I would recommend grabbing a pillow or a bolster if you've got one, you may want that for the practice. Any props, um, really set your space up. I want you to feel like cozy and contained and really held in your space. So whether that's candles, gentle music, um, cushions, blankets, really kind of like cozy clothes, being in your pajamas, great. So just really honoring how it is that you feel. And we're going to get on into this now. Moving your props just to begin with out of the way, um, we are actually going to get started in just a wide leg kneeling position. So you can just pop your props to one side and find this wide leg kneeling position as if you were going to be going into a wide leg uh, child's pose, but we're not. We're just going to stay here and you're going to place your hands just down onto the pelvic space, down into the womb down into the cervix. So really connecting with this space and just rubbing here, gentle, gentle rubs, circles, close down your eyes. And this practice is literally called honor your bleed. So really in these first few moments, taking time to be with the beautiful magic that is occurring in your body right now. I think we're finally coming to a place, at least in the circles that I'm in, where we are actually being in a place of celebration of this phase of our bodies, of this phase of the cycle, rather than really trying to push it away and seeing it as an obstacle. We're just leaning in. And that's what this practice is all about today. Just really allowing as well, like this whole area, this whole area just to to let go. So just spending a little bit of time here, you could gently start to shift the hips side to side. But in these first few moments, all we are doing is just arriving, finding your connection to breath. You could be straddled over a bolster if that feels better for you, feels a bit more supported. Really making sure in this practice that every move that you make, every place you go is just to honor you. And that may be slightly different to where I go. So being in a place of authority and agency here. A few more moments just to arrive here. And then moving the hands onto the thighs. You're going to place the hands onto the knees as you inhale, just shine the chest up. And then exhale, round the spine, drop chin to chest. Inhale, lifting up. And then exhale, round. One more like that. Inhale, lift chest. And exhale round. Placing the hands all the way down, sliding the hands forward into that wide leg child's pose. Forehead meets the earth or the head just hangs down heavy. And again, now just start to shift side to side into the hip. Just gently allowing the breath to caress the body.
You can spend another five breaths here. And then slowly when you're ready, pushing yourself up into all fours. Super slow. And spend some time working through the spine. You can keep those knees wide here if that feels nice. You could even take the hands a bit wider. Creating as much space for the torso here as possible. So just rolling the spine, rolling the pelvis, tilting, shifting forwards, backwards, side to side. When we are in this phase of the cycle, when we are in our bleed, we are very much in a place of release. We're in a place of letting go of that which does not serve. So just allowing that to resonate into your practice today. And from here, you're just going to come back into a low kneeling position knees together take an inhale sweep the arms up to the sky exhale left arm forwards right arm back your left hand can attach to that right knee take an inhale as you lengthen and then exhale just find a gentle twist there is absolutely nothing to be forced here in this practice today And then take another inhale as you reach the arms up, come through center, and then exhale, take it the other way. So right hand comes to the outside of the left knee, gently twisting. And then gently unraveling back through center. We're gonna come into a high kneeling position. If you need to use blocks to support yourself here, grabbing your blocks, you're going to step the right foot forwards, finding a 90-90 position with the legs just to begin with. Bring the hands to the hips and just tilt the pelvis. So finding both an anterior and a posterior tilt here with the pelvis. We're not coming into any deep lunges. We will in a moment, but just for now, just checking in. And then you're going to heel toe your foot out slightly, not super wide, but out a little bit because we really want to create space here today. We don't want to be like really, really tight. We want to create a bit of space. And you can have your foot ever so slightly on diagonal if that feels nice. And again, left hand can come to support yourself on a block. We're going to just allow the body to drop into a lunge. And I want you to be supported here. So like I said, if you've got blocks or even a bolster that you can rest your left hand on, finding that. And then in this lunge, finding a little bit of swaying movement. And then you're going to shift the hips all the way back and you're going to find a half split, but an open leg half split. So you're going to keep this right leg all the way out in that slightly off center position. Take an inhale, lengthen here. Exhale, bow down. Inhale, finding that length. Exhale, bowing it down. Again, inhale, finding length. Exhale, bowing it down. And then shifting all the way forwards. If you want to open that right foot up a little deeper, coming to find your lizard. Now that could be all the way down on the forearms. 
you may want to stay up on the hands option to bend that back foot in and lift the heart up to the sky Again, this is all about finding where your, where your edge is today. And your edge today naturally is going to be <laughs> very different to your usual edge. And we don't want to be kind of like forcing anything or having to kind of engage too much. I want to keep it really gentle. Releasing that back foot if you had it up. And then we're just gonna lift that right foot and bring it all the way back into that kneeling position. We're gonna find all fours, taking some cat cows here or any movement through the spine that feels good. <sighs> These kind of practices have to be very much intuitively led. So just checking in with you. And then coming back up to that high kneeling position, I'm going to step the left foot forwards, find that 90-90 position, hands to the hips, and just take some pelvic tilts here. And then maybe just shifting that left foot out slightly as you come down and find your lunge. And then in your lunge again, like we did on the other side, maybe a gentle little bit of movement side to side. And then supporting yourself as you shift the hips back, keeping that left foot out on that opened hip, slightly variation. A half split, take an inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Again, inhaling, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhaling, lengthen. Exhale, fold. And then start to shift forwards again. Open that left foot a little wider, finding your lizard. Any variation here. Bending in that back foot if that feels good. Heart lifting up to the sky maybe. And then back foot releases down, press through the hands, gently making your way all the way back into that all fours position. A couple more times here, just breathing through some spinal movement. Just circles with the hips feels really nice. Just keeping the shoulders as they are, but finding some soft, gentle circles can feel quite good here. And then you're going to walk your hands all the way back. See if you can tuck under the toes and push yourself into a malasana. If you've got a block and you'd like to sit on your block here, then finding that you can support yourself with your hands or we're just going to bring the hands together, elbows to the inside of the knees, close down the eyes, soft stillness here. And then very gently, you can support yourself as you go, hands coming down. You're just going to bring yourself all the way down to your bottom. 
and reach the legs out long. Now this could be where you grab your pillow or your cushion either over your knees or it could go under. You may always also use a bolster. You're going to take an inhale here and exhale. Just fold over that cushion. Close down the eyes. Gently hugging into yourself without any force. And just saying to yourself, I surrender. I surrender. I'm going to be here for another five breaths. Last breath here. And then starting to lift the chest all the way up. You can keep your cushion nearby. We can come into either uh, Gomakasana with the bottom leg out or both legs. So I'm going to bring the left leg underneath and then the right leg on top. So stacking the knees, like I said, or the lower leg can be out straight. And again, you can place your cushion or your block or anything over those legs and you're going to hug everything in together. Your hands can come down to support you. And just release the crown of the head or the forehead just down in front. Hmm. And we're going to spend about a minute here on each side. Last two breaths here. And then inhaling, lifting up. You're going to keep the legs as they are just for now. You can move your cushion away. You're going to take your left hand down and sweep your right arm all the way up to the sky. Nice big breaths here as you open through the side body. And then sweeping that right arm all the way down and around and then lifting it up to the other side. Left arm lifts, supporting yourself through that right arm. Now, usually in any other practice, I would be saying, use the obliques. Don't relax too much on that shoulder. But today, oh, just giving yourself all the support that you need all of the loving slowness that you need. And then coming through center and then switching over the legs. So bringing the right leg now underneath. Remember that leg can be straight and the left leg on top. And we're going to take the forward fold first and you may want to bring in your cushion or your bolster or a block. Folding forwards here. And again, we'll be here for about a minute.
Two more breaths. And then starting to lift the chest gently, placing that cushion down. Right hand comes down, left arm sweeps up. Still trying to stay grounded through both hips here. And then coming through center and taking it over to the other side. And then coming all the way back through center, very gently, just unraveling the legs. Then you're going to bring yourself down onto your back. So coming all the way down gently onto your back. And we're going to take the hands to the outside edges of the feet for a happy baby, or you can hold the calves or you can hold the thighs. And taking a little rock side to side. And then dropping into stillness in that happy baby. And then drawing those knees all the way in. Now, if you have a block there, you could come into a restorative bridge. Now, contrary to what we are told, so there is a myth that says you cannot invert when you are bleeding. Now, just to quickly break that down, it's because of the prana versus apana energy. And it was also developed by a man, that, that um, suggestion. A supported bridge is one of my absolute personal favorite things to do when I am in this phase of my cycle. So if you would still like to honor the tradition and not do that, you can just come to a Supta Baddha Konasana, lay down and be there. If you have a cushion or a bolster or a block that you would like to place underneath your hips, then you can lift up and bring yourself into that position. And it might just be a tiny lift. Now, remember to invert is to have your hips over your heart. It really kind of depends where you're at. But for me, it's just one of the, I personally prefer when I have a block, but I don't have any blocks where I'm filming this. So we'll just be using a cushion, which actually feels delightful. Palms of the hands facing upwards, close down your eyes. Really just allowing yourself to soften here now. I'm going to spend about another minute here.
So the option to stay exactly as you are for a little longer. If you're ready to move into our finishing position, I'm gonna give you a few options here because everybody is very different. So it could be that for you to lay down in a Shavasana feels really intense. And that's quite a normal thing is to feel the intensity. If you get cramps, to feel them even more when you're laying down. So you've got the option of a Shavasana, any variation. You may want to come into just a curled up. You could come into a sideways curl up and you can put your cushion between your legs. If you've got a bolster or a nice big padded cushion, you can come into a supported child's pose because this feels really, really lovely, especially if you are feeling that kind of super heavy crampiness. So just maybe try them, see how they feel. And this is where we're going to kind of close the practice today. So just allowing yourself to find that position. Mm. Releasing tension through the whole body. Taking a moment just to breathe into that space of honor and surrender for what your body is doing right now, the phase that you are in, this chapter of shedding, of letting go, of release. And we just honor that by saying, I surrender. And we'll take three releasing breaths here, wherever you are together. Take an inhale. Letting it go. Again, breathing in. And let it go. And last time, breathing in. And letting it go. And really just allowing yourself now as much time as you need to rest here. Maybe taking a bit of a scan of the body. Working your way from the tips of the toes, the tips of the fingers, all the way through, up as far as the crown of the head. And just spending some time working your awareness through your beautiful body. So this is where I'm going to leave you today. Please take all the time you need. Maybe there's something extra that your body is calling for. Honor it. Thank you so, so much for being here, honoring our bleeds together. I'll see you again in a practice very soon. Bye-bye.